this game's an incredible simulation. And I was a little worried, you know, I was like, we're gonna bring this thing in and let these professional race car drivers drive this. And if anyone's gonna be able to criticize this game, it's gonna be these guys, because they know cars. We put them in this great setup and they were turning hot lap times and they're smiling and they're having a good time. They're getting a little stressed out at times. That's, that's cool. If we can stress out a race car driver, you know, we're doing something right. Forza Motorsport is the first driving simulator on the Xbox that really allows you to transform a car from its production, you know, stock car that you might see on the street to a complete race car. I mean, we're talking weight reduction, we're talking body kits, you've got downforce, you've got slicks, all sorts of things you can do to your car. And, you know, making a simulator, there's, there's a ton of physics, a ton of math going on behind the behind the scenes there and then the graphics have to be drop dead so we had to use every little bit we had to squeeze every little bit of power out of that xbox and and that was really our goal popular science magazine we're we're really fascinated by technology whether it's uh, video game technology computer electronic technology or the real technology that we see in the cars. And we knew that Forza Motorsport was coming out very soon. And we knew that it was considered by a lot of people to be the most realistic uh, automobile and racing simulator ever. And we wanted to see exactly how real it was. We're not really racing out here. We're seeing how the drivers do against themselves, against the digital versions of the car and the track, against the real cars and the real track out here. The amazing thing was that the lap times are almost identical both in the game and in the track for both drivers. It's really just, it, that's a testament to how realistic Forza is. The game, you know, gives anyone who's ever wanted to drive a Carrera GT an opportunity to kind of just feel what it, you know, what it's like to drive one of those cars. I mean, when you drive an R32 Golf in the game and you're like, oh, this is pretty fun, and then you drive a Carrera GT and you're like, oh my god, this thing is amazingly fast. I mean, if we had it for all the tracks in the United States and if you raced on them, I'm sure it would be a definite help to a lot of the drivers out there. Kind of like the Carrera GT is a lot faster, has a you know definitely more speed, but it weighs less and it has a lot bigger tires, so it has more grip and and you can just feel that the characteristics are just absolutely right there. So I'd say uh, as a comparison, it comes uh, very very close to real life. The lap times that we did in the in the simulator so far have been uh, quicker than any of the lap times that we've achieved at, at uh, here at Road Atlanta. Um, and I think most of that really, in part, is um, just because in the video game world, you can um, you know, start at a maximum. You can overshoot a corner, hit a wall, bounce off, okay, I'm going to try that a little bit you know, different next time through. Whereas in real life, you're not really going to do that. In real life, the, I think the quickest I've ever gone around Road Atlanta is uh, in the mid-12s, a 112.5 or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, spending a little bit of time on Forza earlier, I think I got down to a 112.9. Um, so it's pretty close. To be able to get within four tenths of a second of a lap that you do in real life versus a lap you do in the video game is really, really impressive.